Hello, my name's Julie. Thanks for joining me today. And it's an exciting video because I've got a haul from Planny Thing. I can't wait to open it up, show you what I've got and then use it straight away to do my skinny classic glam with me. This is the first time I've ordered directly from Amber from Planny Thing. I have had some of her sticker books before by a friend who ordered from me. But this is how it's arrived in this box because I've ordered not just sticker book but washi tapes as well. And you can see I have already had a little peep. Don't blame me, I couldn't stop myself. Get a nice little postcard from Amber from the Netherlands, that's where she's based. A little thank you, which is really nice. And then everything's wrapped in this lovely orange bag with a Planny Thing sticker. So let's get it all out. It did arrive a few days ago, so I just wanted to check that everything was there, but I haven't had a good look. So we're going to do that now. I've got the Seasonal Houses and Trees in Amsterdam sticker book and five rolls of washi tape. So let's have a look. There were four grid washies in this collection. I got the beige one, the magenta one and the green one. There was also a navy one, but I decided not to get that one. I also got the row of Amsterdam houses. Well, that was really cute and this one I think came from a previous collection it's a little winter scene with houses and trees I've swatched them all out for you hope you can see them I'm not the best at showing washi on the screen I certainly don't want to unwrap it live like some people do because it does take me a little while but it's really pretty if you've got a little micro notes this is something you can use it for, just swatch out your washi, punch some holes in a piece of card and keep a record of your washi tapes. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I like to make little scenes in my planner and these are just perfect. So I'll just do a quick flip through. It's seasonal, so we've got the autumn and all these drawings are by Amber herself this time. I have got one of the original Houses and Trees sticker books, but I thought this was particularly cute. We've got all the little details like the clouds and the rain and even little parts of the pavement. And that's Amber herself taking her dogs for a walk. And then we've got these where we can build up a little street scene. There she is in the rain. And also we do have functional boxes which is always useful and a variety of sizes and colours that will match. Two sheets of every design. Then we go on to the winter. I really did like these winter trees and we've got the skaters, a little bit of snow. Snowman was really cute. And we've got sledding. Just thought these designs will make some lovely planner spreads. There are other things that go with the sticker book like pads as well. This is a really pretty Christmassy scene, winter scene. And we've got the wreath on the lamppost there. And again, we've got the useful boxes of all sizes to match. They're matte, everything else is clear so you can build up these stickers and lay them on top of each other. We've got the inevitable girl on the bike and we've got the bridge and we've got little flowers, the flower shop and the flower cart, really pretty. More for the spring. I got the washi primarily because I knew it would match really well with the colours, obviously, in this book as it was designed to. And I didn't have any washi that colour. And here are the boxes. And then I believe this is summer. Really pretty ice cream cart and the canals. Amber talks about those a lot. Then we've got again another scene. You can just put that at the bottom of your planner and it will look really pretty. I love the little car there. So cute. And we've got picnic here. These are going to be so much fun to use in the summer, which is my favourite season. And then here are the boxes that match. And finally, I believe at the back there are some houses. Yes, so we've got that 
row of houses that was on the washi tape and then all sorts of different houses and buildings so you can put them together to make a scene and there are two pages of those. So we're going to use that today to do my plan in my skinny classic. I've taken out the pages I need. Let's start by using this gorgeous grid washi. Just going to put it, don't know whether I want to put it right down the bottom or here. Let's just put it on the line. I think we'll be using these spring colours as March is the month that spring arrives finally. And let's just have it at the top, I think. Let's look at the spring pages. So I usually like to have a little scene or sticker cluster at the bottom. Maybe this little flower shop here. Just pop that right in the corner here. And I've grabbed a box. These are thicker than the Happy Planner stickers. There's a little bit more meat to them. Don't know how they are at peeling up if you need to. So if you saw the last time I planned in my Skinny Classic, I was trying to not stick everything in the box because that's how I prefer to do it. I don't know whether I should do that or go back to my default. I know, I tell you what, I will do this and see if I can maybe overlap a box. How about this? That's very daring for me. And I feel like we need some decoration here to balance this side. Let's just put this house here. Let's have a green box on Wednesday. I don't write an awful lot in this planner. It's for my mum and dad, for their appointments and medications. So there is quite a lot of space I can use to decorate. I don't think that's very straight. Let's just see how these stickers are at peeling off. Oh, very good. better. Let's have a little bit more decoration up here with this house. Let's add a little tree. So much fun building the scenes. Oh, it moved. And I really like the fact that they're clear and you can overlap them. A little bench there under the tree. And how about some grass either side of this bridge? It's not quite in the right place. Let's try again. Try and get it level with the other piece. There we go. Amber will be at Go Wild this week. I know she's very excited about sponsoring some tables. It's really fun to watch her vlogs on YouTube. Let's add a circle here just for balance. And I need one more box for Sunday. I'm wondering whether I should do this. 
let's go for it and see if I can just get that tree up so that I can layer it over the top like that. Just need the green one I think. I've only got this shape though so whether I something like that because I don't want to have it the same way especially as it's directly opposite so we'll just pop that there I don't know whether we should add the flower carts or whether we've got enough decoration Maybe just having the girl cycling. I think it's all done except for adding some words. So I've grabbed squad goals because I know that they have colours that match these. They have all the things. All right. Pop that in there. And a to do over here. And a to buy here. I'm very excited to hear all about Go Wild. Being in the UK, it's not something I think I'll ever be able to go to. but I always like to hear about it from the planners who go. I'm a bit of an introvert, so I think I'd find it really hard to go along, particularly on my own. So I think it's the sort of thing that if you do go to, you need to have a planner friend to meet up with there. So at least you know you're not going to be all on your own. I'm sure people there are really friendly and you see all the videos of everybody getting together and being very approachable. It's not that, I just think it would be quite daunting to go on your own. And I always have the feeling that if I did go, I wouldn't be able to get to the table that I really, really wanted to get to. I bet that's a real scrum to get to the table you want. I can imagine which are the most popular tables that's not quite straight. I know that Live Love Posh, Jessica's table was really fantastic last year with all the rainbow edit boxes. Just feel like we need something here. How about this little notes? Mm. You want to add that to that. I don't know why. Let's put it there and find something else for the other box. Look, I've gone outside the box again. I can't really find anything, so I'm just going to pop a lamppost in one of the boxes, I think, just so that they don't look quite so plain. here and then that's done so quick and easy to do with amber sticker book i really love it i'm looking forward to doing a spread with this in my classic happy planner if you haven't checked out planning thing then i recommend you take a look as far as i know this sticker book is still in stock and i know that amber's going to be coming out with two new books at the end of march i think if you have any questions do put them in the comments Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Happy planning, take care and see you soon.